Okay. <laughs> anyway, hi guys. We're at the Forsaken Fortress. It's nighttime now. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah, we just spent 11 minutes sailing around. Got 100 rupees on the side. Uh, actually, a little more than that because we jumped some barrels. Ah. Nice spotlight there. Yeah. Did anything happen if they catch you? I don't think so, because we're on a boat. I'm in the boat. Okay. Anyway. Oh, oh, that's where we're supposed to go in. Oh. Right. Okay. We have to use bombs to break our way in, I think. Nice. Nice driving. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. So we have a few things to announce. Glenn Burke invented the high five. He was part of the LA Dodgers. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. He was one of the A's. Is there a difference? I think so, because one's the Dodgers and one's the A's. It's not like that. Okay, whatever. Okay, so he he was the first guy to proclaim, first baseball player to proclaim he was gay. He died of AIDS, but at least he invented the high five, and that's awesome. Yeah. Anyway, we're here at uh, the Forsaken Fortress, ready to fight Ganon because we have a master sword now. And because we can. And also, we have our sword now, so uh, getting caught in the spotlight, not too terrible. What? Yeah, remember we were unarmed before. BS! They still don't do anything about it? Yeah, I was actually kind of expecting them to send some enemies or something. Oh, like this guy. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so anyways, well... Oh, wait, wait. This, yeah. this, uh, this is another fight that Nintendo loves. What? Uh, if there's a Zelda game with a boss fight since Link to the Past, uh, this boss fight is probably in it somewhere. Just this specific person? No, but, uh, he'll have, like, an energy chargey thing, and you sh slash it back at him. Except, don't be terrible like me. Like, uh, this had Agnaham okay, Pong, and... really? Yeah. Agnaham did this in Link to the Past, and, uh... There's a bunch of other people. Ganon did it in Ocarina of Time, Phantom Ganon's going in here, Zelda does it in Twilight Princess, and there's various other things like Kome Kotake in Ocarina of Time, as well as in the Oracle games. Oh boy. Yeah, basically Nintendo loves this fight. Well, I guess it's so original. Yeah, they love it so much. Whoa, he spin! Yeah. Anyway, fight like five of them in the final dungeon. Oh, that, that's not cool. Yeah. That looks sinister. Hey, look, there's there's a lock on it. Oh, and there's annoying things about chaos. Cutscene, thank you! Hey, it's right there, it's right there! <laughs> Anyway, here's the skull hammer. Basically, the most cash thing ever. That is pretty freaking awesome. Like, uh, watch this. Bam! Done. How awesome is that? Incredibly. Oh, there's more of them. Where'd that other guy go? Uh, he got hit by the shock wave and exploded several meters away. Now, the issue is that it has a really long charge time, so... Well, I need damage per second. Yeah. But it's just so badass. It is a pretty badass thing. Yeah. Especially since I die in one sword hit anyway, it's not really worth doing. Right Anyway, moving along. So, uh, new topic. Uh, this new Final Fantasy Crystal Bearers. Crystal Chronicles Crystal, Crystal Bearers. Yeah, um... We're, we're slightly intrigued because it's not canon. Is it? Is it, it? All the Final Fantasy games are canon because in, like, Final Fantasy 4, I think it was, uh, we found out that all of them are in little test tubes. 
and they're all separate universes inside one crazy scientist lab. Okay, so this is uh, not the usual RPG turn turn based style. I, I think it's supposed to be different and pretty. Yep. So if you guys pick it up after Christmas, uh, tell us what you think about it because we're highly interested. Um, oh, right, leaf. Ha. Didn't take me very long there. Oh, what the heck was that? I think that was like the fire. What? I don't know. Animation glitch, probably. Nice. Hey, I can roll more than five times in a roll. I mean, in a row. That's, that's magical. I can roll in a roll. Yeah. So I can... On the DS games, if you roll more than four times in a row, uh, you get dizzy. It's really annoying. Did you just... I think he just extinguished himself. And the orb is downstairs, I think. Did he? Hell no, I'm not going after that. I think he just burned himself. Yeah, he, he threw the lantern to hurt us, but then he ran into us. He's kind of a dipshit. <laughs> yeah. I can roll upstairs. Not so bad. Link is very specific about which stairs he will roll up. Only those made of fruit. Only of the best quality in every best restaurant. Oh, that reminds me, I was uh, on a run and I saw a sign. Like, no parking within 30 feet. Like, but somebody made a fruit by the foot joke, and I remember it was kind of neat. Okay, cool. So I looked up Wikipedia for the longest sentence in the world. And guess who popped up? James Joyce! But it wasn't the, it wasn't his book there, it was a different... It was some, some uh, it was still his book. It, yeah, but it wasn't Finnegan's Wake, it, it was, was It wasn't Ulysses. Finnegan's Wake, it was Ulysses, but it was a 12,000 word sentence. Yeah, and was he was only like in fourth place. Yeah, there was a three million word uh, sentence. But it's all negated because you can have any length of sentence if you're patient enough. Yeah, because uh, there's, That's what she there, said. there's a little paradox that said, he said that I said that she said that you said and so on and so forth. That makes it, that can make it infinite. infinite. That is great. And don't you even dare get away. Oh, there's a ledge down there that's supposed to catch you. <laughs> oh! Oh! And I somehow missed it. Oh! Oh! Anyway. That is great. Anyway, you'll recall, this is the place where we fought the guy that got our sword back way back when. Oh, yeah. Link, you suck at the hammer. There we go. And now we get to rescue our sister, possibly, maybe, hopefully. 